If you are watching this video, I'm assuming you are already pretty familiar with kanja racers. If not, I'll give you a quick summary. Kanja racers are basically Japanese highway racers from the city Osaka. They race on the Osaka kanja, which is basically a loop, and that's where the term kanja racers comes from. So let's be clear. It is highly unlikely that this car will ever become an actual kanja racer. It is not, and unless the Japanese guy buys it and decides to race it on the Osaka kanjo, it will never be an actual kanjo racer. Instead, it is styled after the kanjo racers, which is different. With that all out of the way, great. Well, let me tell you about my car. The original plans for the car were to fix it up, give it a livery, and then sell it. However, when I was almost done, I had to do a couple of more things and I never really gotten around it and ever since the car has been sitting in front of my shop. However, I do have a couple of videos I want to do with the car. If you are interested in what I will do with the car, please subscribe and you will see very soon. Well, let me give you a quick walk around the car. At the front we have uh, bronze headlights and we I have a set of Type R lips. I have some Desmond Regimaster wheels on them. Well, if we look more to the side, I have a Seeker V2 spoiler on it and a original mid-wing and I have a license plate pulled away kit on it on the back. On the inside I have a window net, a bright reclinable seat with Takata seat belts and a deep dish steering wheel. And other than that, it's pretty stuck on the inside. And that's pretty much everything there is to it with my car. Um, yeah, like I said, I was planning to sell it, but I have some different plans with it in the future. So, Kanjo Racers, what do you think of them? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you want to see more, click right here for more.